everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge, the blogspot.com Ipsy Glam Bag October 2015 is what I'm about to review. I have to be honest, the bag was awesome. The content at least were awesome, but I hate the bag. So when you look at the bag, you would think the 80s are back with a revenge because this is gold lamy with patent leather on the other side. I haven't seen that combo in quite some time. It is screaming the 80s. The bag is square. I don't like it. And I've watched other reviews on YouTube and I'm not the only one. So yeah, if you absolutely love this bag and you want it, comment down below. Let me know. I will gladly send it to you because really I have no use for it. I just don't like it at all. The gold is just over the top for me. Anyway, let's talk about the contents. Like I said, this was a really good bag at least for me I got some really really good stuff in there and I think I'm wearing two of the items all right so in case you didn't know or you forgot Ipsy Glam bags a ten dollar a month subscription for cosmetic and skincare shipping is included you do kind of a profile at the beginning and then they basically send you stuff that's technically supposedly tailored to you so if there is an item that you receive that you absolutely hate or a particular type of item you hate like for instance you don't want any nail polish when you receive nail polish the first time you tell them don't send me nail polish ever again and they won't uh, for the most part they are 90 percent on target with that there's been a couple of you know snafus here and there for me but most of the time i would say that they're very good with following kind of like the stuff that you want to have in your bag my referral link is down below every month you do your little review you earn points with your points you can purchase stuff for free and i've had ton of stuff for free from ipsy as a result of all the referral points and the review points so i think it's a great program um it doesn't break the bank so something that everybody can afford anyway five products every month always a full size matter of fact this time around i think i got two full size so let me start with this one um another beauty without cruelty when i saw it i was actually concerned that they were going to send me yet another shampoo i really don't want any more of the shampoos it's not that i don't like them i do like them but i don't care for shampoos so and plus i got some really good stuff i'm using right now this however is a lotion it's a body lotion it's fragrance free beauty without cruelty is basically um what it says in the title they don't do any animal testing and this is also um botanical it's uh, pear ben free and it's an american company so thumbs up to that so of course because it's fragrance free doesn't smell like anything at all um it is a good lotion i'm not gonna say it's not good it's decent it does the job if you are on the go and you just want to put something real quick on your hands uh, it absorbs well it's emollient but it's not like a treatment type lotion so i would say it's just okay um it reminds me a lot of the whole food market 365 brand they have those huge bottles of lotion they have one of them that's fragrance free it's almost identical um in the texture but otherwise yeah it's pretty cool i'm gonna keep that in the car because most of the time with the heat um and the cold you know the difference in temperatures in the car what happens is that when you have a lotion like this that has fragrance it kind of turns on you um you know it just gets funky but when it is no fragrance in it you can totally keep that in your car no problem so that's going in my car and i kind of like it it's a good lotion the next item is this bronzer brow liner or crayon and it comes with a brush which a spool actually which is much better than the elf one that i've purchased a couple of weeks ago if you remember in my last i think it was in my last swatches and stuff so what makes it a little bit different well this is not a regular pencil for your brows this is actually a gel liner type pencil and it's self sharpening so now it's got this little end right here and basically let me see if you can see it this way um basically you just keep on twisting it and the stuff just keeps on coming um out so it's pretty cool i am wearing it on my brows right now i thought the color was gonna be um kind of very nice because when you look at it on my hand it's just the color of my freckles and i don't want my brows to look too dark 
but I have to be honest when I applied it though it applies beautifully it glides on because it's a gel it feels a little bit waxy but it doesn't melt for some reason so the quality is very very good I still think this is a little tiny bit too dark for me either that or I got a heavy hand I'm not sure but I like it I'm gonna continue using it I think it's a um, good quality product I've never heard the brand before bronze up don't know who they are it's pretty neat packaging it's small enough to put in your bag I have not tried it as an eyeliner I'm wondering if it would work but let's see if it stays on so yeah it's not too bad it's got some kind of stay on but then again I have lotion on my hands so it's probably um, not helping at all so if you look at my eyebrows that's what it looks like I like it I think it's pretty good it's um, I would say it's better than the elf one I reviewed a couple of weeks ago so if you are looking for one of those and I checked by the way online this is actually $17 so that's not bad at all um, if you consider the price of the bag it's $10 you pretty much paid your entire bag with just this little item right here so yeah the next item is this nourish organic organ face serum now in the past they sent me I think I can't remember if it was a face or a hand lotion that was avocado and I really really liked it this one is apricot and rose hip and it's basically a serum now I thought it was an oil actually when I used it the first time because it does come up as being very very fluid I'm used to serums that are a little bit more um, thick I guess in consistency but it applies very well it absorbs and it takes some time because I find it to be oily so if you have a very dry skin you definitely want to use um, that type of serum it smells beautiful um, yeah definitely smells like lemon to me for some reason even though it's just apricot but yeah it does leave a sheen so I would consider this a nighttime serum for me, for my type of skin, I would not apply that during the day. I would be much too concerned that my skin starts to shine all over the place and I have to blot it throughout the day. Otherwise, the quality is very good. This is USDA organic and I don't have my glasses so I can't really um, read the back of it, but it's made in the USA. We like that a lot and it's a good product. Yeah, I like it. it smells great. Um, not tacky but oily so again if you have combination skin if you have oily skin stay away from that stuff i don't know how much argan oil is in it or where it is in the list of ingredients i doubt it's you know on top top but otherwise pretty cool and my hand feels very nice so let's compare um the one i put some on and the one i didn't so i think yeah i can see some type of uh, difference looks nice anyway so that's that nourish organic organ face serum pretty cool next item is a mica beauty cosmetics i've received some of their products before and this one is a gel cream eyeshadow now it's interesting because i haven't received a mica product in a while and the one they sent me the last time was a concealer yeah it's a concealer um, and I actually use it as a lid primer and I have it on today so I have been using them and I like the company I like the brand I like the products a lot I think they're very good quality this is a cream eyeshadow in a copper bronzy very shimmery color I have to be honest um, it's not the type of color I go towards most of the time you know me with my purple but it's actually a really nice color so let me show it to you right here so you do have to apply quite a lot in order to get that super shimmery effect I'm trying to catch the shimmer with the camera you see it yeah very very nice now I have um, the revealed palette number three the gold one I have it right here in the middle it gives you the almost identical effect so I'm gonna add on a little bit Right, can you see where I have the gold right there in the middle so I'm just gonna add a little bit right here yeah it's almost the same one so I kind of like lately this um, mix of purple and gold for my eyes for the fall I think it's very very pretty and I can totally see myself um, using a very small brush and just putting it right here on my um, 
you know lower lid just as a pop of color now some of the reviews felt that this was a very very dry product i think it's the ones they received because this one didn't come out as dry at all for me it's actually pretty creamy and i like it a lot so i am going to use it even though this is not the kind of color i usually turn to but i like it so yeah this is a good bag you guys this month it really is so now the last one is a really really cool product this is um one of the newest from the bone this is meat matte hues and this is part of the brand new collection of matte lipstick and i thought the color was going to be horrible on me because it looks very very pale i have it right now and i gotta tell you this thing is so pigmented you just got to do one pass that's it you're done so of course for the camera I'm gonna do second one to show you what it looks like and some folks have complained that it was tacky not at all not for me I'm at least after a while it's not so here are my lips and I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply some right there I recommend that you definitely use lip liner when you use that kind of uh, lip product yeah because if you don't use a lip liner what's gonna happen is that if you goof and you kind of go outside of your line um, this stuff is hard to remove because it is very pigmented I like the color it's got a minty vanilla type scent and flavor um really impressed with this usually for some reason the bomb everybody is raving about it and it's not something that i go towards i've tried the products and i've never never been wowed by the bomb but this one really really like it so guess what i'm definitely gonna check it out at um sephora next time i go or i think they have it at um ulta i think as well i'm not sure but here's the swatch and I'm gonna put it right next to the bronze. You see how pigmented it is? It's a beautiful color. I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a brick peach. Doesn't have much of a pink. Committed. So that's the color. The color is committed. So here it is, beautiful. It's um, kind of an everyday look. It's not over the top. It doesn't feel heavy. Doesn't dry my lips. Most of the time when I try a matte lipstick, they are awfully dry. This one, not at all. I find it to be actually very flexible. And again, some folks have complained that it was um, a little tacky. Not to me. Um, way better than the mattes from L'Oreal and the other mattes that I've tried on this channel. So that was it for the ipsy glam bag for october 2015 personally i think it's a great bag again there's the argan oils face serum uh, very nice smooth beautiful on your skin but a little too oily for me the bro pencil from uh, bronza really like that mica cosmetics eyeshadow in gold slash um copper and the beauty with that cruelty um, body lotion that's a um, fragrance free so this was really really a good bag last month it was so so the month before that it was so so I'm very happy this is an excellent bag really really worth to me the ten dollars I invest in it on a monthly basis so get your own bag if you haven't yet check it out the link is down below and then I have links for those products as well if you want to get them I recommend this one this is my favorite out of the entire bag and I guess that would be it I will see you for November 2015 ipsy glam bag until then thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you later bye